Hi, I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. In this week's show, I'm going to be showing you how you can maximise your time in your networking group so you become seen as a centre of influence and increase your credibility. In Ask Dr. Phil, we're going to be showing you how you can revitalise old contacts that have gone dead. This week's cool tip is how to get more visibility and credibility in your networking group. Who do you think is the President of the United States? We know the answer. But who's the Vice President? Who's the Secretary of State? Who's the Defence Secretary? It's starting to get tough now, isn't it? And yet this is possibly the most visible network on our planet. So if we don't know the answer there, what's the chances the people in your network really know who you are? So a great way of becoming more visible is to actually help the organisation and the running of that network. If there are leadership team roles, if there are supporting roles, if they need help, step up. Get involved in running the network. This gives you more visibility, and as people see how good you are at organisation, this will help your credibility, which ultimately will res result in more business for you. Okay, this week on Ask Dr. Phil, I've had a question from James in Dubai. And James says, how can I revitalise old contacts, people that I've lost touch with, who could be key for helping me grow my business? Well, James... We've got a number of ways you can do that. Number one is actually a hello phone call. Just have a look into your database and see who are the people you need to touch base with. But just ring them up and say, hi, I haven't seen you for a long time. How's things? The secret, though, is you do not ask for business. It is purely a hello phone call. And you'll be amazed at the results. Secondly, is to actually send a newsletter to your database. And on your newsletter, you can let people know what's happening in your business, you can give them free tips that can help them with their business or elements of your business which builds your credibility. The secret with newsletters is do not spam. You need to have permission to send these. Thirdly, is to actually ask somebody, whether through social media or even by phone, and ring them and ask for advice. When you ask people for advice, they feel good, and that often leads to another conversation about what are you doing now and why do you need my advice. All great ways to revitalise your contacts. So that's the show. And if you want to know some answers to some of your questions, send your questions in to phil at the referralinstitute-me.com and for anyone whose question is answered on the show, you will get a free Platinum Rule assessment valued at $200 that will help you maximise your behavioural style while networking. On next week's show, we're going to be discussing some of the different kinds of networking groups and how you can maximise them based on your target market. Next week on The Rebel Networker.